Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a new app called Aspirin Guide. This guide was designed by two providers at Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School, as well as a separate app developer. This app is to help guide providers in the prescribing of aspirin for primary prevention. The app, in my opinion, operationalizes the current 2016 United States Better Services Task Force, or USPTF, guideline. That guideline gave a number of recommendations regarding the use of aspirin for primary prevention, but it led a lot to be desired in that the guideline gave recommendations based off of whether or not the patient had a greater than 10% risk of a atherosclerotic coronary event, whether or not the patient had a significant bleeding risk, and whether or not the patient had a life expectancy of more than 10 years and was willing to take aspirin for a prolonged period of time. There really wasn't an app that would do all these calculations for you, certainly not the AHRQ app, it simply gives the recommendations. So we really needed an app that would do this for us. So kudos to the authors for answering the call on this. When you go to the learn more area of the app, it gives you background, talks about the references that they used. There's links to these references that are included, which will hyperlink out. It talks about the authors and their backgrounds. It has a very handy algorithm that the app uses, and you can view this app algorithm just by turning the phone on its side. It's nice to see that included. I love the fact they included the actual document from the USPTF. So here's the actual guideline. You can give feedback to the authors, and there's an obligatory disclaimer. So. Let's look at our case. So first off, if your patient has known ASCVD, you're pretty much done because that patient likely needs aspirin for life with very few exceptions. But our patient didn't have that. We were going more for primary prevention. We did not state that our patient had a major contraindication to aspirin. We said they were 64, male, black, non-smoker, hypertensive, we'll say it's 120, yes, yes, we'll say the total was 180, HDL is 45, doesn't take another anticoagulant, did have a history of peptic ulcer disease, no bleeding or perforation, no current symptoms, and does take NSAIDs no steroids, ask you to confirm that that's the data you want to use. It then makes the calculation and gives you the guidance. So it shows the patient's coronary risk score is greater than 20% without aspirin use. The bleeding score, however, is 25%. It then gives you numbers needed to treat and numbers needed to harm. It makes it very clear that the goal is to have a number needed to treat that's less than the number needed to harm. However, in this case, we don't, and therefore, in this particular patient, aspirin likely is not going to be of benefit and may be of harm. You can email that to yourself or restart the algorithm. You restart, and you go back through the process again, potentially coming up with a scenario that a patient would benefit from aspirin. It's pretty easy to use. So some things I liked about the app. Very easy to put in data entry, as you see here. Walks you through the steps. I like the fact that the results come out in a very patient-friendly way, which is great to see. It has links to the references and USPTF guideline. It includes that great graphic of the algorithm some things I didn't like about the app, though, was that the authors have a number of other 
publications that have just been published that are not included in the app or not linked. It would be nice to have seen those included. The only calculator available is the ACCAHA calculator. There's no ability to use Framingham or QRISC. And it's also not available for Android. There isn't a life expectancy calculation included either, as far as I could tell, certainly not in any of the information. So here's another calculation I just made that showed the patient's risk was 15% for a coronary event. Bleeding risk, though, is very low. And in this case, the numbers needed to treat were indeed less than the numbers needed to harm, so this particular patient likely would benefit from aspirin. So that's my look at Aspirin Guide, one of the best apps so far of the year, I would say. The app is free and is a great help to those of us who are potentially prescribing aspirin for primary care. This is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps. Take care.